Okay, I'm here at the Constitution in Camden Town, and I'm here to catch up with the band Towers of London before they go on at the Monarch later on. Hello, Towers of London. Hello, Hello. Hello. Hello Camden. Hello, Camden. You rock, Camden. <laughs> okay, so I've got Tommy on bass. Hey. Donny on vocals. Hello. I've also got Frankie here. It's me. And I've got Snell on drums. And I've got the Rev on lead guitar. Uh, OK, thanks, guys. Is it a while since you played in Camden? <laughs> 12 years. Well, all right. Together. Well, 12 yeah. years, yeah. yeah. That long since you've all played a... Since, since we played a show together. Together. All right, so you must be looking forward to it tonight. Yeah, yeah. man. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a long time coming. It's, um, yeah, it's yeah. extremely exciting. Giggling with 12 years. A long time. Well, the thing, the thing is, is we had a very, very big falling out, us guys, about 12 years ago. And... Um, and we haven't really spoken or seen each other since, so it's been like, I, I guess, in a, about a month ago. Three yeah. weeks. Well, three weeks ago, <laughs> right. Yeah, we like sort of met for the first time and played and, um, and hastily arranged the show and, you know, we've, we've learned some, we've learned, relearned the songs and, some, and written some new ones pretty quick. And uh, yeah, so tonight's a, kind of a, an important night for Towers because it means a lot to us to um, be back together. Because uh, it didn't look like it was going to happen. Rev, Rev super blocked me on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> Still have. Literally can't find any evidence. He's been trying to yeah, start this up. Yeah, years, so if uh, any facial, uh, facial, Facebook, social media uh, tech savvy fans uh, no. out there, can you help me and Donny reconnect? Well, we, can't, we can't find each other. You can't, and we're not in each other's block list, although we were at one point. So, <laughs> so, so, so the, it's gone one step further. The, the, the super block is, um, you know, it's all powerful. But here we are physically yeah. instead <laughs> of digitally. Exactly. It's better. Yeah, yeah. I tried to block him physically. <laughs> <laughs> the power is too strong. Maybe you guys could link up on Instagram then instead. We have. Yeah, huh? yeah. You could just write to each other. No, just me. <laughs> Pick up the phone. Yeah. <laughs> it's just me. If, if fans want to get back in touch with your music again, what's the best site for them to, to go to? It's YouTube, I suppose. Yeah. Spotify. SoundCloud. Yeah, I've got SoundCloud. Uh, Facebook. It's, uh, we're, we're on a bit of a, a social media halt at the minute, resetting everything ready for the relaunch. Really, but literally tonight is the first live performance in 12 years. So yes. Yeah. It's been it's been more important to get back on stage, and it has to start getting the, the social media threads out. We've got a lot of new music coming out, and loads yes. of exciting things to announce. And we're just being told by management to hold your horses. Yes, <laughs> on announcements. Yes, and I'm right. You did two albums originally. We, uh, as a five piece, we've done one album together, which is the debut album, and then the guys left. Um, we had another. We did another album, and. Did we release a single in 2017? Yeah. We did. Shot in the Dark. Shot in the Dark, yeah. yeah. You're right. Ah, okay. Yeah. So your debut album was Blood, Sweat and Towers. Towers. Yeah. Yes. But that was your only album as the original yeah. lineup. Yeah. yeah. 2004 and then Four we years. out there 2007. It all happened pretty Eight. quick for us boys. Yes. In the first place. We, were yeah, we got, we got yeah. signed within six weeks of the lineup being the lineup it is. And then yes. so we only had five songs. Yeah. yeah, six weeks ago, we I joined, and then so we went, went straight out. <laughs> 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 it reads that way. It reads that way. You're in the industry, are <laughs> 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 But yeah, we went straight on tour with Dockety, didn't we? With um, baby yeah. shambles. And that was like <coughs> three, four, that was four weeks after. after. Yeah. And a week into the tour, we had Rubens, A&R guy. Brendan. At the show in Liverpool, and then we were flown out to LA three weeks later. Yeah. So I joined in July, and then. Oh, did you? That's something. We birthday was like October. Yeah, right? birthday was October. Yeah. In LA. We got was it? Wow. Yeah. Okay. From more six months and six weeks. <coughs> Basically, nobody can remember. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but Maybe the stories are great. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was good to us, Doherty. He, he was very good. Quite a yes. few shows. Yeah, he supported us from the start, didn't he? Yes, he's the only guy really that yeah. actually said he didn't come and support us. Ah, right. And he actually doesn't matter well. himself, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and when he said we could, yeah, he said that was yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yes, he said hello last night because Ollie was coming down to do the track. He's recording at the Liberty Studio in Margate with the guys last night. And oh, was he? Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah, I'll tell you about that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Buzzing <laughs> <laughs> Now, in terms of your style, 
Are you still, do you still describe yourselves as a, a rock and glam metal band? No, that was, no, we never described ourselves as that. Ah, no, that so was the, the press no. was... We're British punk rock and roll. <coughs> yeah, we get the glam, obviously. We got the glam because we wore skinny jeans and we had big hair and we liked to wear a flamboyant and we looked good and we wore shades all day. <laughs> All night. Change, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's nothing glam. There's nothing glam metal no. about us. No, no, no. Street urchins playing punk rock. Music. So you're more sort of influenced by the the punk '70s era. Would that be? Yeah. Would that be correct. My mum's Clash Pistols. Yeah. yeah but then big yeah, rock and roll bands. Guns N' Roses. Yeah. It's only punk rock. No, I don't. Know. We like it. I listen to classic. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> My, now I must just ask you, Donny, it's a bit of a tangent, but uh, yeah, yeah. when you went into the, the Big Brother house a few years ago, uh, now, now what was that like? That's, an, that's, one, that's another one of the things I can't remember. <laughs> what was that all about? Uh, I'll tell you what it was all about. Um, the, we'd had a massive row, well I did, let's see, in, um, in Germany with our, the MD of our label. And then when we came back, we came back to find that um, all our tour support had been pulled. Um, and um, and they shelved us basically, and then so Big Brother came knocking, Not the turned, the, <laughs> turned it down. <laughs> so yeah, they'd been yeah. asked before, turned it down, turned it down again, and then the, you know the label were like, look, if you don't deal it, then we shelved you for six albums, and we've got you to sign to a six album deal. So it's right. kind of one of them. It was a conversation <laughs> where you go, well, a we were all broke by that point, so we yes. turned on advance, and b. It's no, you can't, if you can't go out and play and you're being like blocked that way by the label, you need them on side. So I did it for as short amount of time as possible. Yes. I've still got the, <laughs> I've still got the £500 silk dressing gown that you borrowed. Oh, right. oh, really? Have you got it? <laughs> uh, I think so. Yeah, I started borrowing, started borrowing right. pretty heavily Ninja. against what I was getting. Yeah. <laughs> I think Donnie borrowed about eight grand. Get paid, you you the wall. Yeah, he borrowed eight grand before we were supposed to get 35. Before the fee. And then he jumped the wall and he said, oh, you owe us four grand. Yeah. <laughs> right. so, no, yeah. so, so basically oh, just yeah. you know, stuck in a, in a, between a rock and a hard place. Really. Yes. Um, and I guess we, we haven't even yeah. finished partying by the time that. <laughs> 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 we were still, <laughs> we were still <laughs> at Tarsi. Yeah. But I guess it helps. It brought a bit of publicity to the band, and I think I think it was like I think it was um, it was two things. It was like um, obviously yeah. it was good. It was good initially for um, like come come out of it, soul tours out. But what we did is because it was a, it's a not credible show, and we were a credible pub rock and roll band out in my eyes before yeah. we went in. Um, lost credibility. Completely, we, and so we lost hardcore fans. If you got into something like that, I don't, you know, I don't sign up for that. And so we gained loads of new fans, yes. but very fickle ones. You stuck around for a year at, at, at the most, and a tour or two, yes. and then the hardcore ones sort of turned their backs on us. And you know, right for the so, to be honest. We also, um, yes. we, we also gathered a lot of people that wanted to kick off with us even more because they'd seen Donny on TV. Ah, right, so, so we went straight out on tour playing the biggest shows we played. But then we had about another 25 people to fight before we got on stage. I think it was the beginning of the end. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah, because when that sort of thing happens, you get a lot of hangers on. Yes. <coughs> coming in, um, people who would perhaps be divisive towards the band, and you know, yes. you come backstage and you wouldn't recognise half the people. Ah, okay. Yes. So your private times <laughs> where you would get together were gone. Yes. You know? so, yeah. So maybe as that was a few years ago, now maybe you can be getting back to. Well, it's, it's, like, it's like the start of the uh, band again. Yes, it's a, life, cool. it's a lifetime. Because we, yes. we just like what we've been enjoying recently is playing together. Yeah, yes. you know, the being creative time. and you know the excitement of the actual gig rather than the red carpet. <coughs> yes, I mean, I know through work at Camden Radio, the live scene is still very vibrant here in Camden Town, and in particular the the Camden Rocks Festival coming up, which I believe yeah. you guys are going to be yeah. playing. Yeah, yeah, we're involved in that. <coughs> yeah, what the, the gig we're doing tonight is part of the Camden Rocks Presents. I mean, Ca yes. Camden, we, we, were, we were here in Camden, Camden when Camden was... We are King's Camden. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the original King's. <laughs> so it's a bit of a homecoming, because we were here yes. when it was still dirty, grotty, yes. 15, 20 venues down the street. Punks on the bridge. Punks on the bridge. Oh. We used to battle the punks to get across the bridge. <laughs> And now that's all yes. gone, and it's one of them it, it, it's, <laughs> yeah, it, it, and it's it's tourist, but we're you know yes. it's twelve years since we were fully active, and that's bit. It, it, if this isn't a homecoming gig, then there's, there isn't one out there. This is no, actually yes. we are we're going back to where we were. Yes, and just like Dirk said, just we well let's just get back to what 
created in the first place, which was the music and just played. Yeah, and were some of your early gigs in Camden? Yeah, all yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Camden, yeah, Camden, 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 Shoreditch, Shoreditch yeah. Hoxton. Yeah. Yes. Before Hoxton and Shoreditch were cool, when, yes. when we were playing Warehouse Squats with Doherty and oh, yes. Liberty. That's when yes. we were really rocking it. Yes. And the reason, yes. the reason that is is because we have an attitude of what we've got today, which is, it's not us against the world, but it's, we've, got, you know, we've got something to prove. Yes. I mean, before you're signed, you, you know, you've got something to prove to everyone. We, yeah. we, we, At every gig. <coughs> we would literally be in the rehearsal room in Buckinghamshire on a Friday night, Dirk would get a message or Donny would get a message from somebody, this is spot in Shoreditch tonight. Yes. And we'd be like, right, right. we're straight in the van. Yeah. Straight in the van. Straight or in my Fiesta. Or yeah. And we just yes. roll up there, no money, play, and then we'd figure out how we we're going to get home. Some days it would be for like three or four days. <laughs> yeah. Some days we'd stay in town and play another gig. Yeah. But we, we, used to, we used to listen out on the radio. We used to listen out on the... Um, on the wireless. We used to listen out on the radio, too, for... Um, for like shows that were happening in London and we and we crash them that yeah, night. Start, yeah, right. start so, rock <laughs> so yeah, we turned up. We we turn up and say we're supposed to tell security we're down to play, and then um, you know quite big shows. <coughs> yes. So yes. sometimes like having a bit of fun sort of get you somewhere. Yeah. yeah. I think that's one of my favourite memories actually. You turned up at your house and it was like, well, what are we doing rehearsing now? We're playing gigs tonight. What are we doing? <laughs> Sport the Libertines. Oh, okay. Turned up, turned, turned, up, <laughs> turned up at the turnmills. Turn. That's it. Turnmills. Turn yes. Yeah. Remember it, yeah. Literally. And we just we got on. Got on. Got yeah. ourselves on stage. We ended up playing main support. Ended up main main support. support. <laughs> he then got, we got to, yeah, we got thrown out to get yourself back in again. Yeah. But we supported him. It was yeah. like, literally it was there was a lot of there was a real scene of independent <laughs> promoters, <laughs> new bands, <laughs> yes. taking over spaces, warehouse spaces. You know, just PA's thrown together, promos thrown together. But there was a real uh, a real vibe about it. And we'd be going down to, um, you know, Catch 22 and On the Rocks. Um, uh, Catch 22 on the Rocks. Three, three, Great three, East. Three, Great three, East. Three, yeah, three, three, three. Yes. Um, old go. Oh, um, Johnny Rhythm. Rhythm Factory. Rhythm Factory. Okay, yes. 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 And we were just like literally just waiting there to see yeah. right, what's going on. We'd just turn up with our shades and guitars, and then that's it. So, so you're hoping that after tonight, then you'll be doing a series of gigs. And then around London, is that your...? We've already got uh, major festival slots, major tour support, yes. European dates already in the bag. Oh, right, so... But we can't really... Not, don't say too much at the moment. No, we're just... <coughs> no, we're a bit too... We've got, we've got a very clever... Well, we haven't announced it officially yet. Yeah, yeah, we haven't announced it. We're, we're a bit too overexcited, so we're, we're, we're a bit told to put the brakes on. Yes. <laughs> but you're hoping tonight this will, this will be the start of things getting moving again? Just the rebirth. Yeah. Yes. So we're, we're the first band um, that we know of in the country or the world who's it's seriously starting to do vlogs on YouTube. So yes. it'll be like 15 minute, 10, 15 minute episodes, episodes yes. All right, yeah. of what we're up to yes. and how we're actively um, going on our comeback. So the what would the website do? The link would be like 365 DTMI. So yeah, so okay. come and check out what we're up to on YouTube. Oh, and I think, yeah. I think it's like, it's kind of a good thing because it's like, not not every band has the blessing of like a major label and loads of money, and, and we don't right now. And like, to try and crack it, to try and make it in the industry is tough work, and you've yes. got to be dedicated. And I guess trying to work out how you can how you can survive in this industry without backing is what we're going to do. Yes. So, you know, tune in. <laughs> and is that, is that sort of vlogs of, of gigs or? Everything. Yeah, everything, everything really. Yeah. I mean, the guys that the guys that started it prior to the reunion a few months ago, yeah, yes. a few months ago, yeah. and yeah, just kind of covering everything really. But I yeah. think now that you know, the reunion's happened, it's going to be, it's going to be more, more tailored to yes. how we're actually, band, yeah. you know, yeah, it, how we're actually relaunching ourselves. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I mean, uh, yes. currently, we you know we've been back together for three, four weeks and done everything ourselves, and we're. Just, Self-promoting, self-funded, yes. self-active <laughs> band at the moment. So it's really yes. going to be a, a, you know, sort of a documentary, a self-documentary of how we're going about it. Yeah. And also, it, it could be a lesson to other bands. Um, <laughs> yeah, they could learn off what we're doing because essentially the internet has opened up everything that you can do it yourself. Yes, if you're willing to learn how to edit, if you're willing to learn how to film, and all that information is for free on the internet. So if you use your brain and you've got, you know, hunger and you're creative, you can actually make, you know make great content. Well, thanks a lot, Towers of oh, London, for you. speaking yeah. to me today. Yeah, thanks thanks so much. Much. And we look forward to your gig 
at the Monarch later this evening. Thank you. And good luck with your future shows. Thanks Cheers. very much. Cheers. 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 Hi, this is Towers of London on Camden Town Radio, and we're saying to you, get down, get out, Get involved, get involved, get your coats on and get down to the gig. Support the bands who haven't got the money to live and do it, you know, full time. Support your bands. Yeah. Use them or lose them, guys. <laughs> Cheers.